Michael Bisping, 38 years old. Kelvin Gastelum is 26. Gastelum always giving up height in this UFC middleweight division. Both men weighing in at 186 pounds. Bisping will have the four inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us the introductions for the main event, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Charlie Keach, Khan Papayadanu, and Paul Sutherland. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mark Goddard. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, live from the sold out arena in Shanghai, China, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler and a boxer, holding a professional record, 14 wins, three losses, one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, by way of Huntington Beach, California, USA, presenting the Ultimate Fighter Season 17 winner and the number nine middleweight contender in the world, Kelvin Gastelum. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a ballet Tudo fighter, holding a professional record, 31 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion and the number two ranked middleweight contender in the world, Michael the Count. Bisping! Okay, gentlemen, you understand the rules you fight on. You listen to me at all times, you keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do this. Indeed, let's do this. Michael Bisping, a little bit subdued here, Dan. He's certainly taking this in his stride. I think he's just trying to enjoy this moment. He's talked about this, obviously, as being one of his last two fights. He wants to retire in London next year. This is just to alleviate some of the pressure going into yeah. that last fight for me. And I think he really yeah, enjoys you know, these kind ready? of fights where he takes them on short notice. He doesn't have to deal with the pressure in the build-up. And he knows what he gets with Kelvin Gastelum. He's going to start barreling that left hand down the pipe and try and take his chin off. Michael Bisping's been kickboxing since he was a young boy, so he's seen every single thing that Kelvin Gastelum can throw at him. Gastelum, the south on the green trunks, Bisping out of the orthodox stances in black. Gastelum has been a very fast starter in his UFC career. Nice oh. body kick. Big body kick. Michael Bisping with a searching right hand. Nice jab. Yep. And an overhand right lands for the count as well. So you told me off the air you thought Bisping might run some clock a little bit, try to settle in early in this fight? I, I think he may, yeah. I think he may. I think the, the deeper he takes this, he knows his conditioning is, is right. you know, unrivaled in the UFC, really. So the deeper this fight goes, the better his chances. I felt the same thing um, for, for the GSP fight as well, but unfortunately that didn't come to fruition. But in the build-up to this one, he talks about how good that training camp was and that he wants to show some of the improvements that he made in that training camp. And I think Kelvin Gastelum will give him that kind of fight. Didn't seem to be the easiest weight cut for Kelvin Gastelum, who invoked the towel, but was able to make the 186-pound limit yesterday. Yeah, and there was a little confusion. The first attempt, there was some uh, there was some towel grabbing going on, but the second time he weighed in, he took his shorts off and he stood on the scales, and you have my word, he made 186 without a problem. Bisping starting to find the range a little bit here. Two minutes in, nice. body kick for Gastelum. As Gastelum leans in for the body kick, Michael comes over the top with a right hand and just glances across the chin of Gastelum. 
Jason Perillo likes the footwork and the fainting out of Michael Bisping here early. Bisping using good feints to try and draw the attack. Michael always seems to do well against southpaws as well. It's that lead hook. He's, he's very good at coming over the lead shoulder. He did it to Rockhold and he did it to, to, uh, to Anderson Silva, dropping both men with the same punch. Fans getting behind Michael Bisping here, about two and a half minutes in. Oh! Oh! Nice one, two for Gastelum. Bisping is out. Wow! Gastelum finishes Michael Bisping early in round one. And the celebration is on for Team Gastelum. Obviously a disappointed Michael Bisping as Kelvin Gastelum takes care of business early tonight. And a tremendous show of respect there to the former UFC middleweight champion who stepped up for the promotion yet again into this headlining spot tonight against a very dangerous opponent. What a one-two there from KG. The power of Kelvin Gastelum is absolutely incredible. You can see there Michael Bisping was just reaching with that right hand. Kelvin Gastelum slips back, catches him with a counter. Look, here's the right hand that comes, slips out, catches him with the lead hand, and then bam, the big left hand down the barrel. Kelvin Gastelum, my goodness, what power this young man has in his hands. Every single middleweight has to be on notice now because in any second of the fight, Kelvin Gastelum could steal your consciousness away. What a beautiful performance, and you can see how much it means to him. Gets back in the win column after that disappointment against Chris Weidman. Obviously, that's a rematch he's going to be looking to get because he was so close to finishing that fight in the first round.